choreography. Cruise ship style. It takes a lot. A big dance. It's incredible. Up tempo. Everyone's running around. This hustle and bustle is the key to keeping cruise fares affordable. Efficiency. The best show is backstage. This performance actually begins in darkness. Before dawn, a floating resort quietly slips into port. The Norwegian star's opening act is silent, but not for long. 2,000 passengers off, 2,000 more on. Chef Ralston Dyer buys in bulk. Tractor trailer bulk. 18 big rigs supply this sailing. We check each back to make sure there's no spoilage in the bottom. Lots of fruit and vegetables, even more beer. The beer is already in the front of the ship. So first. It's, it's the first in press out, you know. <laughs> As we board, we step onto what's called I-95. A corridor three football fields long, restricted to crew only. It's like a city. Down here, surrounded by white, a thousand workers keep the star ship shape. And the laundry never stops. 24-7. Her washing machines conserve every drop of water and spin so fast, they're poised on hydraulic. They can load up up to 275 pounds of veggies, linens, towels. At one time. One, at one time. The kitchen's also cooking around the clock. Thank you. Good food fast. Many meals are cooked on demand, reducing waste and controlling costs. This block will be completely lobster. This will be complete little steaks. How many you know? Here's a ritual guests never see. The sauce, please. Top chef Barrington Burke, uh, grilling his cooks about tonight's meal. Try the tatsumi again. Then, using plastic spoons, select servers taste test each course. This is the best. <laughs> Speaking of the best, here's an area that's off limits, but for a few, a 6,000 square foot suite with its own outdoor play area. That's the best that you can get them on the stand, yes. Butler, concierge, and private jacuzzi included for two grand a day. It's, it's, it's quite nice. On every deck, there's work underway for the next cruise, but not just dockside. A 40-minute drive north in a Wesley Chapel building. Real choreography. Up there one more time. Every Norwegian dancer from every Norwegian ship learns their routine here. We kind of surprise all the locals here. We have formed an in-house company, and we need a place to rehearse all of these ships all at once. Back at the Star, I-95 is jammed with food, luggage, and crew. This well-oiled vacation machine is astounding, oh, that's the even to a 42-year veteran. It's amazing, the whole log logistics. The captain reveals this 965-foot ship is steered with a joystick. The size doesn't matter. <laughs> then there's this perched on the bridge, a spring-loaded wooden hand that waves for him. We have other things to do, you right, know, right, so right. <laughs> let the hand do the waving. When loading is complete and it's time to sail, the helm falls silent. Everyone is focused, so to say, it's there for it's so quiet. After all, they're steering a city. Stood up, the star would tower hundreds of feet farther than Tampa's tallest building. Yes, loud and clear. But the captain's not plotting her course. A local harbor pilot is. Rick Van Inich guides the star to sea. The pilot is intimately familiar with the tides and the currents and the depth of the water. For guests, dinner soon will be on, but the appetizers, all natural. A stunning sunset plus a hair-raising escape under the Skyway Bridge. From here, it's seven days of fun, but not everyone stays for the party. The pilot grabs his gear and prepares to literally jump ship. Through an open hatch just a few feet above the water, he climbs to a small pilot boat that's pulled alongside and matched its speed to the ship. It's a precision operation for both vessels, with literally no room for error. Next, I suit up and make that same heart-pounding climb, that same tender leap. The sheer size of this ship comes into view, and we jump off right where we began, with a twinkling star sailing through the night. It's vacation. Chris Kamora, Fox 13 News.